All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is uh, Global Mike. This is with the Troll Expeditions team, Biathlon and Pale over here. We're gonna do a munter hitching scenario, lowering someone down, muling the munter. Well, first offering assistance in a three to one, muling the munter, converting that to a three to one and a six to one. In the meantime, I'm going to lower him down, attach to this prusik here, right? Very safe, you should always be doing this on ice climbing tours, as you can see here with this GoPro. So keep that prusik on, okay? So now I'm gonna lower the client down, so go ahead. Now really quick, what's the point of this pressing? Check this out, I fall unconscious, right? I die, Ugh. I just fall down, he's good, he's okay, he's good to go. If you're doing over water or huge crevasses, you need this on, um, definitely. Okay, let's just go down, off we go. All right, so now he's gonna come up, so I'm gonna belay him up a little bit. <laughs> All right, so, th so that, means, that means that he's very tired. Okay, so now this is the challenge that exists. Now I have to put a prusik on this line and I have to create a three to one system. Now this is important that you really have to be careful because you can't let go of this. There has to be tension on this all the time. This is a live load, all right? So whatever you do, you wanna make sure there's tension on this constantly. So I'm holding tension, I'm undoing this prusik here. So I wanna put the prusik on the other line. Now in the meantime, what I like to do, I'm gonna make a clove hitch. I'm gonna clove hitch this. Okay, I'm gonna grab an extra carabiner I have back here. I'm gonna clove hitch this, as you can see, to myself, to my blay loop. Check that clove hitch, make sure it's tight, back up onto it. Now it's clove hitched to me. Okay, so now I have my hands free, my hollow blocks right here, I have my carabiner there for my hollow block. I could lean down to his rope, I could still have that tension on the rope, but I'm leaning back into the rope. Now I can just put on the hollow block. Okay. Now the hollow block is on. I'm just gonna put, take off that carabiner for the hollow block, pop that on the line. And now what I'm gonna do, move this up a little bit because we wanna feed this through it here. Okay, lock that off. Now I have a basic three to one setup, but now I still have to get up, right? And now, here comes the important part. I'm still keeping tension on the line. So I'm gonna tell him now, I'm gonna assist you up a little bit. I still need you to climb, okay? Now this is the benefit of having this clove hitch. I can pull with the clove hitch. I don't have to pull with my hands. Okay, so if I want to, I can just kind of like walk back a little bit, you know, pull with the clove hitch. I'm assisting him up with that three to one, or I can start pulling with my hands if I wanna do that. But if I do that, I have to make sure I have to keep tension here, okay? So, how you doing? Yeah, so he can't come up anymore. So what we need to do now is mule this munter. Okay, this is where, uh, once again, we have to really make sure. So now this kind of, be, this is, becomes irrelevant, this, uh, this three to one here we're making. We're gonna make a new one later. I'm gonna hold tension on this line all the time while you're muling the munter. Go under. I'm crossing the knot up here. I'm putting it through. Gonna take some of that slack there. Gonna make an overhand. Okay, now as a final, I have to undo my own clove hitch I made before. Back my carabiner. Now I'm gonna make a, a figure eight just to give myself some safety in case anything goes wrong. I could attach that, let's say, to an ice screw up here. It's gonna get a new, looks like I can make this maybe a tiny bit longer, potentially. Let me make this a little bit longer. Just going to do maybe up to here. Okay. So now we have some extra slack. Maybe I'll put it in this ice screw here. Okay. So now comes the process that I have to now switch over the system so the munter is muled at this point right now. 
me take this off for a second. All right, so just to review this process and what happens. So a mule of the munter, I have an overhand knot here, and that's going to a safety on there. Okay, so this is uh, step one of what we're gonna do. So now step two, I have my, my pressic here. I'm gonna do a uh, wrap that pressic. It's gonna do a three wrap. Simple stuff we talked about many times before. I'm gonna put that under. It's gonna do one, two. There's also a hard ice one standard here. Three. Okay. They wanna clean up that prussic. Check it out and make sure that it's a clean prussic. Clean those knots up. Keep them on the outside. Okay. Nice, very right, clean prussic now, and it bites. Now I'm just gonna go up here, just kind of make a, a simple overhand knot up here. Just like this, got the overhand knot. Now I need to put this carabiner. I'm gonna put it in this shelf up here, the focal point shelf. We fit that in there, that's good. I'm gonna put that in here, close that carabiner. As you can see, I'm going to move that down, right? I want that tension. I want to make sure it's properly tensioned. So when it releases, there's not going to be a lot of shock. So at this point, I may tell my client um, if I really enjoyed, if they enjoy the tour and they're cool, I'm going to tell them, hey, client, you're going to get potentially a small, a small shock load. You're going to feel the rope let go a little bit, okay? And, uh, and they acknowledge that they're going to feel something. I'm going to come back to the rope here. I'm going to start undoing the system I was creating, okay? Now, one thing you want to make sure at that point that you're, as soon as you get ready to undo that first knot you created, right, I'm going to, I'm going to hold that tight. I'm just going to, now it looks like it was went under, so I'm just going to put it back, and I'm still holding it, because now when I let it go, it's going to go, and the load's going to go onto the pressic. Now it's biting. There we go. So load is on the pressig right now. Okay, as you can see, loaded pressig. Now this is a now this is a live load, so we have to be careful with this. At this point, I'm going to have to put on the ATC in ratchet mode. Okay. So I'm going to grab the ATC. Now this what I'm going to do just to make it a little easier for us. Since this, this carabiner is on the bottom, I'm gonna move this and put this above. Okay, makes it a little easier and more freedom, more space. All right, now, so that's there. I'm gonna open this up, put that in there. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do, get this ready. So now remember the load we have the biting load, so the load's going to bite on top. Now one thing, this is a pro tip, I want you to notice what's happening here. So we're doing this, right, this is going to twist, so we're going to twist it around just to avoid this from happening, so you'll see what's going to happen. When I twist it this way, right, it's going to be a little bit easier, and the load's not going to twist on itself. Okay, so now, Okay, so let's look at this system. So the load is biting itself, as we talked about before. That's gonna go down, and we still have this hollow block on the line there. Okay, now this is attached to so this system. One more time, look at it again, you're good to go. Now I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna take off the safety up here. I'm gonna rack this carabiner so I can use it for later. Okay, undo this for a second here. Now at this point, I can put this in here, in this carabiner, attach the hollow block to this main line. Just clean up your prussic a little bit if it's a little dirty or clean up your hollow block. Mine's a little dirty right now. Okay, just gonna lower this down. 
I'm going to tell him. I'm going to be pulling him up. So I'm going to be pulling you up now. Okay. Now let's see if it grabs. There you go. Look at that. So the system is working well. Okay. So we're pulling him up. Now at this point, I'm just going to quickly remove this. I'm going to remove this, this prussic here. We don't need this prussic on the line anymore. And eventually it may get sucked into the ATC. We want to avoid doing that. I'm going to take off this. Now I have this extra carabiner. I'm going to take off this prussic. Okay. So the prussic is off. My client is still coming up. Now, let's say he's super heavy, super huge. Ah, he's actually making himself really heavy now. Yeah, that was good. I like it. Good job. So we just removed the, removed the prussic here before. He's making himself a little heavy right now. So we're going to have to go to a six to one first. Um, so the basic principle of six to one is actually pretty cool. But first, I'm going to lower this hollow block down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a clove hitch here. Now, figure eight, some people may do that, but the reason is you have to move this. Okay, so just create that clove hitch we talked about before. So to get a carabiner, I have some lockers back here. Okay, so I have that clove hitch created. Now, now the cool thing about this, you can also use your personal anchor for this. This is why it's so useful. All right, so I have my personal anchor. Now, what I'm going to do, so let's just review this system really quick, see how this works. Okay, so I have my personal anchor set up here that's on attached to the ice screw. Now I have, it goes down. Now this looks like a normal three to one. This is a typical three to one setup, but what's happening now, this three to one line's coming up through the carabiner here, now going up and it's clove hitched. Okay, this would usually be in my hand, now it's clove hitched. I'm putting, I'm going to undo this so you can see it one more time. All right, so this is clove hitched. Now I'm putting my personal anchor through that carabiner, which is attached to the clove hitch. Now, if you look at it again, you can see going to the personal anchor, to me, going down, going through that carabiner, which is attached to the main line of the three to one and going back up. Now I could just simply use my weight and I could just walk it back if I wanted to, just like this, or I can just start pulling it back, right? And this is a six to one here. So now I'm gonna pull it up. Let's say I'm reaching the terminal point. Now what I have to do, so look at where this clove hitch is now. Okay, so something has to be done. This has to be reset. So I'm just gonna take off, bring this down. I can walk it down. I'm gonna undo the clove hitch. Probably sometimes easier just to take off the carabiner. I'm gonna undo that, take off the clove hitch. You can usually slide the clove hitch out of the carabiner, like so. Okay, now I'm just gonna redo that clove hitch here again. I'm gonna put it there. What I may do, well, for future reference, I may put it further down the line. I'm just gonna attach myself to it once again, close the carabiner, and my GoPro just went off. Uh, something just happened. So we could just see here. So that's the basic principle of using the six to one system. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we talked about doing this system. So we have a six to one system set up here. This is probably the best to use. A five to one is also pretty beneficial. We haven't gone over that yet. We'll go over that in a different video. But yeah, so this is something to quickly do if you have trouble doing ice climbing and the person can't get up, try a three to one, pop it to a six to one, and you're good to go. There's no extra equipment needed for a six to one. You just put in your personal anchor, put a clove hitch, reset that clove hitch, push the hollow block down and keep doing it until the person comes up over the edge. Be careful pulling them up. And that's about all she wrote. Until next time, this is Global Mike Reed and Pale Chocolate Jr. And there's Bieta, the chocolate senior down there. Should we pull him up? Or? Yeah, let's pull him up.